In this tutorial, let's take a look at two different sets of results that we get. The first when we do a natural language search, and then if we redo the search using keywords with Boolean operators. Right now I'm in the Academic Search Complete Database. This is our basic academic periodical index. And let's say I want to do my natural language search first. And let's say that I really wanted to do a question and I typed in the question, what are the effects of fracking on the economy of Ohio? So that would be considered a natural language search where I just type it in exactly how I might type it in, say, into a Google search. When I click on search in this particular database, I get no results. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here and identify my main concepts. So I'm going to remove everything else, like uh, what are the effects of, let's take that out. And let's leave fracking in there, that's one of my main topics. And let's put in one of my Boolean operators, I'm going to put in AND. Let's leave in economy and let's put in and Ohio. So I have three topics joined by Boolean operators and we'll talk about the Boolean operator and in a little bit but let's click on search and see what kind of results we get now. Okay, so rather than no results, I now have two results and if I take a look at each one I would see that each one has something to do with fracking the word economy and Ohio. So sometimes it's better to uh, steer clear of those natural language searches and take some time to identify your keywords and phrases and learn how to use the Boolean operators so that you actually get some good results in your database searches.